Hi, welcome to MC University On Demand. My name is Eric, I'm one of the design engineers here at Matthews, and today we're going to take a look at how to calibrate your moisture sensors. We'll see what the sampling equipment looks like, as well as how to perform a calibration on a true dry machine. Let's get started. Sensor calibration is the process by which a user can ensure that the moisture sensors on a grain dryer match the readings of a certified grain testing device. During the calibration process, a sample of grain will be monitored by the sensor on the dryer, and then that same sample will be checked on a third-party tester to compare results. This process of ensuring that the sensor is reading accurately is vital for the efficient operation of a grain dryer. Environmental conditions, grain varieties, and even dryer cleanliness may affect the operation of the sensor, so it's important to make sure that the sensor always matches the one where grain is being sold. Matthews recommends that the sensor is calibrated periodically throughout the season or any time there's a significant change to incoming grain. Also, it's important to note that sensor calibration must be done while the dryer is running under normal operating conditions and while the discharge grain is coming out near your desired set point. Let's take a closer look at a few components. Here we have a DM510 sensor. This comes standard on the discharge of a true dry machine and you have the option of buying an infeed sensor as well. It provides real-time moisture readings from the fin here as well as a temperature readout from the RTD probe on the bottom. We can see here a demo of a tower discharge sampler. You can see the sensor is mounted on the back and grain would be passing down from the top. It would move slowly past the sensor fin and out the bottom. In order to take a sample, you'll get a bucket and place it underneath your sampling auger. Turn the handle to let grain start to flow out until you have enough of your sample. You then close the handle and take the bucket to your tester. If you're operating a profile dryer, you'll need to locate the sampler which is attached to your discharge. Grain will be exiting through this discharge tube here and some of it will enter the sampling box. It'll slowly move down the sampling box, moving past the sensor which is mounted on the back and will then be pulled up by this mini auger to leave with the rest of the grain. To take your sample, slowly lift on this flange here and let grain trickle out of this tube into your bucket. It should take about 30 seconds to a minute to get a good enough sample size. You can look through this port here and make sure that the grain is not getting below the sensor fin. If the grain goes below the sensor fin, it'll read incorrectly until it's fully covered again. Take your sample inside and test it on your tabletop tester. Now that we've seen how to take a sample, let's walk through the calibration process. First, you'll have to go out to the dryer and take a good sample. Immediately following the sample, go over to your HMI, tap the PLCIO button on the ribbon, and hit the next button until you see moisture and temperature readings. You'll want to take note of the 15 second average moisture reading. In this case, it's 15.3. Next, grab the sample that you took earlier and go check it on your third party tester. We recommend that you run the same grain through the tester three to five times and average the results. Next, we'll compare the dryer's result on the 15 second average versus the tester's result. If we say that the tester in this example read 14.3 on average and our dryer read 15.3, that tells us that the dryer is reading 1.2 high. To fix this, you go to the HMI, hit settings, and then sensor calibration. You'll notice that there's an offset field. We want to adjust this offset by the difference we calculated earlier. In this case, we want to change 3.2 to 2.2 and hit save calibration. If you've made it this far, you've finished your sensor calibration. That's it for this video. Today, we've talked about how to correctly calibrate your moisture sensor to a certified testing system on a true dry machine. If you have any questions or comments or ideas for a future video, you can email us at media at matthewscompany.com. As always, thanks for watching.